Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear this. It's kind of windy out. So I noticed on my videos, I'm not getting a whole lot of actual view time. So I'm gonna try something different here. I'm actually gonna split this up into a couple different videos instead of doing one big long video. But I'll show you what I got going on. So obviously I'm gonna cover my address here, but I got a glow plug in here. And then what I'm doing today, that's, that's boring. I'm not gonna make a video on putting a glow plug in. I got my uh, first ever check engine light and it's for that, that glow plug. Got a filter here, uh, spin on for the trans. I got Transco shift kit. This will all be a different video. And the deep pan, or the uh, interior fil pan filter, whatever. And then today's video is just gonna be finally putting a lip pump in the LBZ. So, I'm not using this, I actually got a, a sump for this instead of using, instead of dropping the tank and stuff. So I got an Air Dog 150. And yeah, so I'm gonna be installing it in the LBZ. And now you can see all the little uh, gremlins of the LBZ. I'm getting rockers put on soon, but the frame's also starting to uh, lose some of its coating. So maybe I'll oil it while I'm under there. I'll wait till after the install because I do not want to be crawling around a bunch of fluid film. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on this lift pump. Just side note. Imagine an LPZ with a frame that clean. I mean, no, it must be an older manual or something. Because to get a truck that clean nowadays, you gotta spend uh, quite a bit of money. Here I am working on my steps again. Someday I'll have a garage bigger than this one so I can uh, some cool stuff in the garage but anyway yeah so opening all this up I'm actually surprised at how small the uh, lift pump is I like that straight up like garden hose for, for the fuel but um, yeah I'm just gonna pop in this box open see what we got in here sorry for the bad camera angle I'm trying to leave my phone in the uh, tripod that's a little bit tricky so i'm not going to be using this that, that would usually go on your filler neck so your return line would go to this and then that's your draw tube but again some these are some cool so i got a bunch of fittings oh these are nice fancy and this must be my bracket yeah it's all my bracket tree to hold it up to the truck sweet I should at least be building a workbench, guys. Um, anyway, so it says to dip your fittings in motor oil. I'm actually all out, I'm too lazy to get some, so I'm gonna use barn chain oil. My advice would be, do what the instructions say, don't, uh, don't be lazy like me. On this particular one, again, I don't know if the newer kits are metric or not. This one's a standard size. Got to adapt it down on my 7 8 impact here to uh, a little ratchet. I'm not going to over tighten. Bottoms out right there. Give it a little snug tight, tighten, and I'm calling it a day on that. And uh, that should be good. I'm going to do this side. So, again, I'm going to dip the fitting that comes in the kit. Oh, got some oil in there. smells like uh, cutting oil or something anyway so that's to the engine this side yeah this in, this is to the engine we got some bar and chain on it just lubricate that seal and this this bottom out so I'm assuming well, I'm not assuming it's not going to over tighten. They can always tighten me later if need be. But I'm hit that spot. There's just a little bit. Snug it. Call it a day. It's like that. All right, so he's come with instructions. So I'm assuming if you guys bought a new one, you're going to have instructions, but you might have bought used. Which, I mean, just go buy new. But if you can't afford it, that's 100% understandable. That's why it's taking as long to buy this one. Anyway, so here's your bigger filter. That goes to the engine. That's your return. And that's your feed from the tank right there next to your water separator filter so i'm gonna set those in place here we are with the bracket um, for mounting it to the frame 
All right, so grab all the bolts. I'm not gonna need these because these are for if I did that return on the uh, filler neck. Zip tied, it's handy. Got some O-rings. Show the instructions what those are for. But I believe this is the actual bracket right here that our air dog will mount into. Alright, so this is a little funny. Um, I'm assuming this, this kit is kind of universal as far as the brackets go. Because you've got a bunch of different, this is the bracket that will face the frame. And the air dog mounts on the inside of the frame, whereas the fast is on the outside. So this one, it looks like you just kind of mount this however high up off the ground you want your filters. And for me, I don't really want them down below the frame, so I think I'm going to go with these highest holes and see what happens. There, so we have the bracket all mounted up. I'm assuming it's gonna go this way, yeah, around the frame. You guys will see that, but for now, I'm gonna mount this where it needs to be right there. And again, so this is gonna be on the inside of the frame, just as it in this orientation, and uh, tank engine fuel. All right, so this is my return line to the engine from the tank. But I'm gonna mount this up with these little guys. That's what these go to. All right, guys, so it's all mounted together. Um, so far, it's been pretty self-explanatory. But I just saw I messed up a couple times, so. Anyway, so the, uh, it's all mounted up on the bracket, and now it's time to crawl into the truck and actually mount this thing. Let's see if I can make this tripod fit. It's actually gonna be really hard to get an angle down there, so I'll do what I can for getting you guys footage, but it's gonna be tricky. Well guys, no going back now. Fuel is draining out into this can, so I can uh, cut that. Ooh, you know, I probably should have done. <laughs> Probably should have made sure my hole saw is the right size. I don't know, the instructions said three inch. Oh, perfect, three inch it is. Nice, pretty happy with that. All right, so I'm really running out of daylight, but this is my sump. I have to go pick up a three inch hole saw, that's why I'm kind of short on light here. Uh, I got a three inch hole saw. I drilled like uh, just the pilot hole through the tank, let it drain into my fuel can. Then I drilled the three inch hole. Now I'm gonna go stick this in there. This notch is to go like through the hole. I mean, I guess I can try to film it. Let me try this real quick. Oh wow, got it pretty close to my uh, sending unit. But there it is. I'm gonna try to clean up the edge here. And then uh, put my sump in there. There's videos on it, guys. I can't, I can't film this Android at the same time. All right, guys. So the sump is in. Made a little bit of a mess, but it's all right. Got kind of my work phone. Yeah. So the sump's in. Nice straight shot right to the pump. Um, 
I still got to run the wiring harness. And as far as under the hood goes, I'm gonna bring it all the way up here, but I need my the bigger. I got a fuel line to open up that big, so I want to do it right. So I'm gonna do what I can, and then uh, tomorrow I'll have to go grab that fuel line tool. All right, guys. So I paused the last video because um, I just want to do this right. So I got the wiring harness snake down through there. Um, kind of running along the frame. I'll get a video of how I zip tie it. Now I just need to run my fuel line. I'm running it up to, had to in there. I'm running it up to here, just because uh, it's gonna do it right, you know? So I got the tool for that so I can disconnect it. And then of course the lift pump, wherever the box is, came with, oh, it's on the back of the truck. Obviously it came with uh, this nice fitting, so I'm gonna use utilize this. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep running some line and go from there. All right, guys, we're getting there. So I didn't film it, but I decided to mount the air dog on the this side of the frame closer to us because for one, his looks better. Not that you have, like, want to be staring at these filters, but two, if I need to service it, I don't feel like crawling all the way into the truck and now I can just sit on the ground, service it right there. If I have issues, it's right there. And uh, I can keep it clean during the winter too. Cause I'm gonna get these rockers done. They're way worse than I thought they were. I think I'm gonna peach bottom do it or my buddy up in Maine. But um, yeah, so I gotta mess with this a little bit. Uh, for some reason, my fitting won't click over, the female end won't click over this male end. Actually, I know it's not for some reason. It's because of that bracket right here, it hits. So I gotta, I don't want to notch that because I want to keep my powder coat, but I got to mess with that for a second. Then I can clean everything up under here, uh, retorque the sump pump, and then do my little bit of wiring under the hood. And I'm actually already all clipped in right there. I'm going to see if, if I have time today, I'm going to remove that fuel line. All right, cool. So I ended up wiring my positive to the jumper block and then negative to the ground. It's just... I didn't want to put it here. Um, so I'm going to bump it real quick and see if it turns on. Yep. So it turned on. Um, I'm going to pre-fill the filters and uh, go from there. All right, guys. So I'm going to have my wife turn the key on and off while I wait for fuel to come out here. Go for it. Just turn the key on, don't start it. Let this clear up a little bit. Turn it off. All right, we're gonna try that, guys. Let's see if it starts and runs. All right. Start it, babe. No leaks. Go for it. Start it. Okay. Start it. Alright, so no leaks. Just gotta kinda clean up here. Um, put everything away. But, yeah, pretty happy with that. I gotta go get some fuel. Obviously I have like no fuel in this thing. Starts up, runs good. Um, we gotta do that glow plug, but you know what? That's, I'm not gonna make a video about that. There it is. What a mess. Yeah, so I'm gonna go take it for a ride in a little bit and see how it feels. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Um, 
like and subscribe please and i will be doing the transco junior shift kit in the next video with all the fluids super happy with the lift pump bracket's a little ugly um i'm still cleaning up but it's not for this video it's boring stuff so yeah i'm super happy with it i gotta go put some fuel in this tank so i don't uh run out but yeah see you guys in the next video